Okay, there it is. Uh, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only. How all my adventures doing? So it's been like, I think, quite a few months, just like two or three months, and we've made quite a bit of progress with this uh, fiber project that we're doing. So um, now the big surprise is here. Yes, the fun surprise. Like I said, this is all placeholder for right now. But uh, as you can see from the thumbnail, the surprise is here. And obviously you already know what the surprise is. We now have the art for our first starter, which I'm just going to go ahead and just go ahead and pop that up right now. This is going to be our fire starter. I have not come up with a name yet. And as you guys can see at the bottom right, that is our artist, Mono Art Studio. <laughs> a link will be down to them. Uh, they occasionally, you know, kind of close their page if they have like a lot of people. Uh, so it, it's kind of like first come, first serve type thing. So, yeah, with that said, uh, now we got to figure out how we're going to put her, put her in the game now. That's, that's kind of why I wanted to do this live just to see how how difficult it would be, because this is actually extremely cool i have a lot of ideas for her for her evolution which will come in like later on but yeah we're gonna have to transparent this and separate them for like back and front as of right now we do have to change the code we don't have a name for her yet which is something we're gonna have to figure out like later <laughs> uh so what i can do here is copy all this uh i guess paste down here Ooh, i should probably take the line with me then that's gonna be the case well, i could probably just choose one right here what am i doing there we go I'm going to actually let you guys uh, name her if you guys want to put put a name suggestion down in the comments and then we shall. Uh, we shall hold up. I think it's going to pull from like all of the names. For like back hearts and stuff like that. She is going to be a fire type. Let's hopefully they do change the the typings for me. Then I'll know uh, what could go on there. Form name. Huh. I wonder if there's... I have to look through the rest of the monsters. Well, Pokemons. Here. Because I feel like... Okay, yeah. Some of them don't have the gender button. So I think I can move that to where they don't have the gender show up. Yeah, this seems about right. Uh, let's change that then. Let's take that completely out and hopefully it doesn't show up. So we're going to save this. Need to copy the name just in case. And let's go into the actual like folder of Essential. And I think we are going to go to graphics, right? Yeah, graphics then Pokemon. Let's see what I need. But the front pictures, okay, are just named then. We're going to have to see how how big she is and how much we're going to have to size that down. Uh, we already have <laughs> Photoshop up. Uh, I need to go download the file. So be right back. All right, so I downloaded the Photoshop file. So what we're going to do here. So she has different layers, right? Okay, these are all just highlighting layers. So what I should have done is actually just grabbed the transparent. So I can have like all the layers. I'm going to do duplicate layer. Actually, I can move this, right? Okay, we're good. Because usually OBS just acts very weird.
This will be for the back. This is going to be her battle design. Okay, that's that's in a way. Hold on. I well, I can actually just erase that. Hold on. So let's go into essentials. Graphics. Pokemon. All right, where'd it go? Oh. Uh back. We're gonna have it as test. Now Okay, so I can't go back. I have to reopen this. <laughs> this back in. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Sides is gonna be quite important, so she actually fits on a battlefield. What am I gonna do? I'm probably gonna compare it with the other Pokemon's like size and everything. Let me erase that. Get that off the screen. Okay, I was about to say you're gonna save it. <laughs> Put this on and go to essentials. I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time it's gonna be front. Oh, it's being saved. Okay, hold on. Now I want to make sure that it's in there. Because if we do this right, she should show up in the um, in the file that we did last time where I show you how to put Pokemon, you know, in there. I say if we have to lower her body, we shall. No, she should be in the T's. Gotta put test. Where the hell did I get B from? Am I blind or does she actually blend in pretty well? I put in the right thing. Probably did. Knowing myself. I think I might be blind, guys. Because <laughs> she's not at the very bottom, then. Do I have. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, I should have turned her around. Well, I, I guess it's fine because we just need to see if she actually shows up in there. Um, play, save. I might have to restart the whole thing, maybe. Hopefully not. Okay, it's trying to process Pokemon since that changed. Okay, so text monster girl. Let's see. Okay, I kind of figured out everything that was wrong. Mostly everything inside of your inside of your Pokemon text notes has to be full on caps for so when I put in fire as fire type, it wasn't fully capitalized. Everything has to be capitalized. So it has to be literally be capital F I R E. So that caused issues. Uh, I can also not have space inside of the Pokemon's name. And I can't put any custom colors that aren't, you know, part of the Pokemon like folder. So I try to put orange and orange isn't allowed, but I put red instead. And there seems to be acknowledging that. So now I have to get rid of the spaces or put a. Put a line in it, but I want to take away that space once I once my eyes adjust and find the damn thing. Uh then I guess we could try it from there. I also gotta go into icons because I also gotta change that too. Oh wait. Oh no that was right. Where is the icon? This icon should actually be 
quite easy to find. So this is just the question mark. There it is. There we go. And that should work. If it doesn't, then I, I kind of maybe fucked up something else too. What else? Tell me, tell me what else is fucked up. Oh no, it actually went through. Okay. So that means she's actually in the game now. There were just several things that I screwed up on. We do have the grass labeled, so it is working. Whoops. I'm not gonna remember how to. There we go. Debug. Pokemon. Add Pokemon. Add tests. Uh, let's make it level. Let's do Bob. <laughs> so one, we get to see her in action, and two, I want to edit it to where the encounter happens. Wild encounter. Okay, yeah, let give me a second. I need to remember how to do this. <laughs> okay, I found. It. I I remembered how. <laughs> so delete this. I delete this. I'm gonna change the species. Oh god, do we actually have to cycle through all this and find her? I thought she would be at the bottom, apparently not. Okay, I found it. I had to get through all like half of the BS that was going on. So we're gonna see how she looks in game now. So I don't have to search for all that shit again. <laughs> Probably gonna be pretty ginormous. Oh yeah, <laughs> as I thought. <laughs> so we gotta scale her down. That's gonna be the next mission. We gotta we gotta scale her down quite a lot. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, the easiest way to do this, is that we're going to match her with some other of the Pokemon size and shrink her to it. So let's go ahead and move you in here. So uh, compared to this size, no wonder she showed up a lot bigger than she should have. <laughs> So now we're going to do this. We're going to shift and control. Bring her down. Now we're going to move you. Okay, God damn it. Okay, whatever. Going to size compare. I don't think any quality should be to be uh missed out on since we're shifting down yeah that's a better size so let's try this size now and see how much better that is And we'll see what else we can uh, adjust here to make her better fit in. Okay. Now it should be saved. No, don't close that. It was actually a lot easier process than I thought it would be to change her. Or put her into the game.
Obviously, she's going to be too gigantic. Okay, so... Looks a lot better. She's actually in the game now. So now what I need to do is lower her quite a bit more. So she's too far up there when she's bouncing like that. Uh, I can go ahead and save this again. And now we have to do the same thing with the other image. <laughs> Oh yeah, I gotta try and save this now. Oh no, I did save it. It's just acting weird. Anyhow, uh, so and close this now. Now we can go to yeah the front version of it. Where are you? There you are. So now basically the same logic is that we're going to take a random image. To be honest, we could actually just take, we could actually do it the other way around, which would probably be a lot better considering like Pokemon scaling is, you know, pretty par on there. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Take this and now move it over. So now I need to zoom out. And shift. Okay, what are you doing? Stop it. Now shift again. Hold shift again until she's all in there. Now the thing is, I can have somebody on Fiverr. Hold on, where is it? There it is. I can have somebody on Fiverr actually create like a high quality one from the concept that's going on. Wait, am I not allowed to? Hello? How's it because the other one's up? Okay, no. I think so. No, that just put that in there. Stop it. Get rid of that. Okay, now we're good. So with that done, go ahead and pop this up again. Now open up the game. Now let's see how she looks in both combat now that I lowered it and what we encounter. No, oh, she still doesn't show up. And she didn't lower. Interesting. Because this is her front. Wait, did it say? Oh my god, it say does it again? Did I not change it? Okay, it's acting stupid now. That's all it is. It's just acting very stupid. Yeah, it said it changed. Okay, looks a lot less low quality. <laughs> nah, it still looks low quality. <laughs> don't, don't listen to what I'm telling you. There we go. Actually, the quality isn't half bad as long as, uh... As long as I'm looking like this, but if you stretch it out, obviously, that this is, like, RPG Maker, it does that. 
by default. It just looks more terrible rendered that way. That's just how RPG market XP is. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to figure out like the height and everything of like how high I want her. Uh, if I remember correctly, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so I found the Pokemon Sprite editing. If you go into your info editing, then I found it right here. Edit Sprite. Now I gotta go find it. It's probably gonna be all the way up in the T, so... Yeah, we got a little bit to go. Well, not even a little bit. It's got a lot to go. <laughs> it took me a while to figure this out because I didn't know this actually existed. It should be around here somewhere. Where is she? There she is. It's an enemy on the ground, not up 10 feet up in the air. Yes, save it. So now, once we get in battle, she shouldn't be floating in the air. <laughs> yeah, there we go. A lot better. Perfect. We figured out how to do it. Like I said, this is only basically like the start of the game. Then I'm going to start trying to learn Unity and shit like that. Then we'll get a better game going. Right now, there's just a basic learning. Me just dipping my toes into game development. Nothing too major. And Unity will allow me to do a lot more of the mechanics and stuff that I want to do. But as of right now, this, this is the first game. <laughs> and towards the future obviously it doesn't look like you know pristine just because it's an rpg maker but as long as you're not like maxing it it still has its you know basic charm but yeah as long as you as long as you played in the small box you're good <laughs> i want to actually see how it is for like recording games though how, how crisp is it for recording for recording games Okay, so let's go ahead and take out this. Good games. Essentials. Ah, it's actually not that bad for it, it seems. Yeah, we recorded a small window. It's actually not that bad. Nice. Well, that that's the fun part out of the way. <laughs> like I said, this this one was gonna be stuff that I I was gonna actually have fun getting into, setting up, and boy, am I happy I got to do that. Now it's going to be um, gotta get some NPCs going. I gotta know what like sprite art style i want to go with do i want to i gotta look around i gotta have something that matches the world because i can't just have a pixel character running around is out of a care it's out of a game that doesn't look pixelized you know i gotta figure out something it's gonna be quite the interesting thing to figure out like I said, everything here is placeholder. It can be changed in the future to like a set in stone art style that I want. And the moment, placeholders. <laughs> so yeah, at the, at the moment, Monster Girls are kind of set in stone. I will just need to figure out, you know, 
Um, figure out somebody who can make UIs or something, something like that. Or maybe I'll try and dip my fingers into that. But yeah, as for designs, that's that's pretty much set in stone. Maybe I'll have it have it in different art styles, depending on like how the out overworld art style, you know, is. Who knows? But that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.